Nicole Scott here for Netbook News, and here we today have the evolution of the netbook. Here we have the Asus UX31. Now I know, you're extremely jealous of the amazing laser etching or paint job or whatever awesomeness this Ultrabook has. There apparently are only 30 of these amazing units in existence. And I happen to have one of them on long-term loan from Intel. Thank you, Intel, for this long-term loan for me to be able to test Ultrabook apps. Um, so the reason why I'm so excited about this is that um, the Ultrabook is really the evolution of, or sorry, the, oh, yeah, the Ultrabook is really the evolution of the netbook. I mean, it's light, it's portable, it's made for use on the go. I don't have instant onset up on this one. Um, but you can see on the keyboard here, I, where the eye is meant to be, there's actually a little die chip, right? So a little, uh, I don't know, I think it's super cool. So this is a 13.3 inch um, display. And you can see here, this is, the, this is in the sunlight, and you can see it. I have it up at full brightness. This is a 1600 by 900 display resolution, and it's gorgeous. It's totally beautiful. Totally made for use outside, totally made for on the go. I wish it had a matte display, but um, maybe I'll get a foil, something like that. So I'm completely in love with the trackpad. It's huge. Um, I can do two finger scrolling, which is really, really optimal. It has the integrated mouse button, um, but you can see it's got some good flex and some good bounce, how far that goes down. I do have to say, after my one day of use, I do find the edges quite sharp. Um, maybe I'll get some cool wrist to help protect myself <laughs> from the uh, tight edges there. But closing it up, taking a look around the ports, we have the power there, USB 3, which is great. We have a display port. Uh, there's the mini or micro HDMI. Around the front, you can just see exactly how thin this Ultrabook is. Around the other side, we have a micro SD card, headphone jacks, and another USB 2.0. Um, I think that this is a, a really cool design for, for the lid. I'm, I'm gonna really try, I know, I know you guys know me and that I'm really hard on my gadgets, so I'm gonna really gonna try to take care of this finish and take care of this Ultrabook, but I'll let you know how it goes because I am tough on my devices. So far, I'm totally happy with this. And um, for software that I've loaded onto it, I have CyberLink PowerDirector 10, which I'm super happy with. Uh, the Intel QuickSight video lets me render videos like this one at almost real time. Actually, I was, I was, I was, I was trying it out today. It was like 25% more real time, so it's still pretty cool. It has the fastest Core i5 processor that can go up to 1.7. Uh, 2.7. Sorry, yeah. I'm back in the netbook world. 2.7 gigahertz, which is really amazing because it has a turbo boost. Um, this one does have some stickers on the bottom, but Intel has gotten permission to put the Windows licensing on the PSU, which I don't carry with me because, well, I have about five to six hours of battery life with this. It's going to be kind of a change for me because I'm using the, U the, um, the Lenovo X220 with the extra battery slice. So I've got like 18 watt hours of battery life on my X220, which is like on the plane 25 hours of battery life. So it's going to be a bit of a jump for me to go down to this, but I'll see how I do. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm super stoked to try this out. I'm Nicole Scott for Netbook News, taking my first step into Ultrabooks.